Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Get to the Core. It is a, it's an incremental mining game uh, about just throwing a drill at kind of planetoids and trying to get as many resources out of it as you can. It uh, just kind of popped up on my radar. One of my fans is like, hey, check this out. And I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. Let's give it a shot. And uh, I'm kind of weirdly hooked on this. I've been playing without any upgrades, and now I think I should probably start buying some things. Ooh, I can't actually afford that. So we need various uh, various metals and minerals and money and whatnot to actually be able to upgrade my, my drill ship in some way. Let's see. Oh, gosh. This is going to get big, isn't it? I don't know why those are question marks. Uh, do we want more drop boost? No, I think I'm just going to go for, like, as much fuel as I can, and then we'll go for that. All right. Go to the solar system. Go to this. So this says iron, silicon, and aluminum. And it's going to cost us various amounts of fuel. So I'm assuming we get, yeah, way more iron per hit here. And I can actually, I can carry a fair bit. Iron mastery unlock, drop multiplier, durability, some other stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to get stuck, apparently. All right, let's go shopping. What do we want to... Doesn't look like it can afford much. So it's really just, what do I want to buy? Oh boy, everything is expensive. Let's try not to get stuck on our side this time. Total waste of fuel. Doesn't benefit us in the slightest. But you never know. I'm curious if it's worth actually even going for the silicon or if I should mostly just be going for pure raw iron here. I feel like a little bit of silicon is going to give us a lot of stuff. It's just really hard to get in here. Oh, my rotation is based on my mouse cursor. I... That's actually really useful. All right. Uh, let's see. So I still can't buy any of these. Armor will negate some block damage. Oh, that's really helpful. I guess actually if I'd gone for a little bit more fuel... This would have been easier. Whoa, what the hell's up with this planet? It's really scuffed looking. So am I taking... Oh, I'm losing like a ton of fuel every time I touch one of these things. That's why we're taking block damage. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna... Keep working on some of these other ones. Yeah, so silicon's going to be kind of hard to get our hands on. Because I, I more or less have to have a high enough HP bar that we can even, like, punch in and get access to them. Still, we're getting closer and closer to silicon. I could just go out of my way for, like, a ton of iron if I wanted to, but I don't know if I actually do. On... Did... Did we actually get some silk on there? I think we did. Yes. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's a whole bunch of armor. And things are getting expensive, but it's fine. So it says I'm taking four damage, but I'm not. I actually wish those red numbers would reflect how much damage I'm really taking, but yeah, one way or another, I can now punch through a whole heck of a lot of iron uh, before we we start taking any like major damage here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over a bit. I figure if I kind of go diagonally, it should be easier for me to kind of hit multiple blocks really fast. Kind of. It seems like we have to keep gravity somewhat in account. Alright. But one way or another, we've got some silicon mastery. I should take a look at some of these. Ah. So we can also sell these for money. So multiply for drops, less durable. But we could actually sell for cash. I think we want to. Okay, so we can buy the drill upgrade now. So this increases our damage. What else do we have? 
Uh, siphon a percentage of coins from blocks. Oh, that's big. I guess we'll buy as many sil as much silicon plating as we can. Okay, so that's uh, I, I think we've just massively increased our our effectiveness here. Oh, the red number is my damage. But yeah, now we're getting some amount of money based on the amount of uh, resources we're gathering here. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna probably go for the iron. I know we need the silicon, but if I can get large quantities of iron this way, that's a good thing. Hopefully, at some point we can hit like multiple blocks simultaneously. That would, uh, that would help. I don't know. I, I, I'm actually like immediately enthralled with how this is turning out as far as like an incremental game goes. It's not much to look at, maybe, but it works. The visual style is very effective. Oh, that silicon is painful to punch through. Okay, rather than... No. Okay, so what else can we get? Increase drill damage by three. I'll buy those first. See what else do we have? Increase drop rates. I guess let's take a look at resources, because I could sell a bunch of my iron. We're not going to sell the silicon, it's not really worth it. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But yeah, let's go for that siphon as much as we possibly can. Oh, so this is actually capped out and over and done with. Let's see, and this one's getting close. But yeah, let's go back to the solar system. So... Now we should get even more money from just hitting things. I wonder if it's based on the percentage of my damage. Mm, maybe? That might be the case. We need silicon, but I do kind of like the idea of just going really hard on just getting a ton of iron for a while. It's how we get cash. And I can just go to the right, and pretty much apart from my regular fuel drain, I'm just going to be bowing through this entire layer of the planet. There we go. Plus, we also get even more iron mastery. I sincerely hope the music for this is not copyrighted. Sometimes it is, you never know. We're going to have to start punching into the silicon. Still, I've gotten a lot of iron off of this one. Oh, here we go. This is this is the exact right circumstance I was hoping for. Kind of this perfect loop where we can chew through an entire layer really quickly. Got trapped. Okay, let's uh let's start getting into the silicon layer. Okay, so probably, I mean, we need more armor. But let's see what other things we have. This is a single upgrade gravity lock. Toggle shift and knock it knock back when you break a block. Whoa. That's interesting. Okay, so we can put two more points into that. We could increase our, our drill damage. I think I'm going to focus on armor for a moment, finish that off, and then go back to working on fuel. Looks like we can also increase our fuel tank size by a ton via that upgrade. Sick. Alright. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of my resources. Okay, gravity lock is kind of fun. It's very fast. It looks like I'm still getting pushed back a little bit. But at least we can get a ton of silicon off of this. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. What I want to do is see if I can get, get to the red. But I think it's going to punch me to death. Yeah. 
Let's see, so we could do more drop boost. We could go more coin siphon. I'm gonna sell all of the iron we have. See what we get out of that. Okay. Yeah, I should probably go for the coin siphon above all else. Let's see, a little bit more coin refine, a little bit more fuel. That should be good. All right, dive back down. What I want to do is get in underneath. There it is. Yeah, if I have something above me, we don't get knocked back as much and I can get a whole bunch of iron. Unfortunately, I don't think there's an easy way for me to get back up. I gotta figure out the exact right angle. That also, I think, depends on the planet. Here we go. Yeah, because unfortunately, a number of these planets are extremely scuffed looking. And so it's going to be a little t harder for me to get that, like, perfect cut-through rotation to get just, like, oodles of iron all at once. Some of these areas, yeah, just ain't gonna work. And that's fine, too. Yeah, let's cut back, grab a bunch of iron. Because iron costs me nothing. At this point, I take no damage from bumping into iron blocks. And so, I don't necessarily know if we need iron as much as we need, like, silicon or a couple other things. But I figure there's nothing wrong with grabbing just like oodles of this stuff until we've maxed out all of the all of the iron related abilities. And then at some point, I, hopefully I'll get the ability to just kind of auto farm iron really quick. I guess we could just punch through the uh, the surface of the planet. If anybody knows of any bands that sound like this normally, I am all ears. I actually really like this music. I, like, how would I describe it? Like, Electronical Lounge uh, is something I listen to often whenever I can. There's just something kind of chill about it. I mean, go figure, it's lounge. Uh, maybe there's a better way of describing this music genre, but I don't know. I just, I crave it. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the stuff. You get that right angle and you can just fly. Yeah, the, the other reason why I'm doing this is it's getting me a decent chunk of money for every block broken. Um, either it's pro uh, proportional to the amount of damage I do, or it is... It's either proportional to the amount of damage I do, or it's... Uh, Based on the block health, but one way or another, you know, ten thousand gold, gold, ten thousand dollars, without spending a, 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 without selling a single thing, seems like a really good deal to me. Oh, this is working. Yeah, we just got a another level of the iron mastery, which increases its, uh, decreases its durability, increases its drop count. And increases its cell count. Looks like we might have actually hit kind of an upper limit, though. Uh, that, unfortunately... Uh, it looks like getting the next mastery level is probably going to take an insane amount of iron. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to accrue that much. Wow. Ah. It's this, like, corner that's messing me up. Alright, do we drop like a rock? Drop like a rock. Let's get in here. Even silicon's not hurting me that much. If I could get on a mining loop on silicon, actually. That's probably worth it, because whatever that red stuff is, is probably going to wreck me. Okay. So what do we have? That's drop rates of blocks. I think I'm just going to work on that money siphon for the time being.
Yeah, fuel tank. I guess we need armor. Armor is the big one. All right. Anything else require iron? Maybe. Oh, that did not give me nearly as much as I was hoping for. Well, it's fine. Uh, let's go back to solar system. Yeah, do we just uh, do a couple where we just yeet self? Okay, what was that? Aluminum. Aluminum is the red stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the core like this, but nice and quick. Regen. Percentage of block health as fuel. That's going to be nice. Okay, drop boost, more damage. Another drop boost. Go for those drop boosts. I, I think that's good enough. I'm just going to drop like a freaking rock. Not the most practical. But I think it's fine. Okay, so what is this? Two armor. A lot of armor. So buy that for now. What else do we have? Snag that. Buy armor. Looks like we're out. Now, the problem with dropping like a rock is I'm not getting quite as much. But on the flip side, uh, it is a lot faster. Okay, let's see if I can end up in a silicon loop. Yeah, how much iron do I have? I've got thousands. Yeah, so let's, let's just see if we can get kind of into the silicon layer and just bounce it. And we can do this perpetually now. That even that 1% uh, fuel, fuel stealing. Uh, okay, let's, let's see if we can go down a smidge more. I want to stay in the aluminum layer. I don't want to be mining any iron. The problem is a not perfectly round planet is going to make this a little harder. Now, well, once you hit the aluminum layer, it's probably probably better to just drop like a rock and just get as much aluminum as you can. Because otherwise, we're going to be bouncing off the aluminum a bunch and taking a ton of damage. Uh, let's see. Grab another regen. Let's see. Do we finish off coin siphon? Oh. Wait, drop boost. Let's see, drop boost. Why is it so expensive? Okay. Yeah, so are we just collecting iron? at the moment. I think we are. I don't think it's benefiting me in any way, shape, or form. No, nope, it's fine. Yeah, we can just we can just drop through the iron layer. To the point where we get to the silicon layer and then we're good. Yeah, the problem is that the silicon layer usually is kind of on the uh thin side. I think I'm just gonna go for this, try and get try and get that perfect loop regardless of what I'm gathering. Yeah, I need oodles of silicon to do what I want to do here. Nah. Time to just drop and get as much aluminum as we can. We want to get to the core. Well, we're getting to the point where I can actually somewhat feasibly go after aluminum. That's nice. Alright, do we keep going for armor? Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have? Go for the coin boost. And a little bit on drill damage. Heck yeah, what's the next one? Gunpowder, laser enhancer, a laser onto your drill equipment. All right. And then thrusters. Fly by using the up and down keys. Oh. We might actually want to save up for that.
Okay. Yeah, that means I'm going to need a bunch of aluminum, though. But hey, I might even be getting to the point where I actually have enough... Uh, where I actually have the ability to... Oh, look at that cycle. Perfect. Uh, enough armor that I can actually punch through aluminum. We might get to the core very soon. Whatever it is, I, I don't know. I feel like this game needs some level of, like, uh, universal paper clips. Uh, I don't want to say, like, existential dread. But that kind of, like, dread feeling where you're just kind of like, oh, I'm destroying all life as we know it. Can't quite get to the core. I thought I'd be able to this round, but next one. Okay, so do we want the thrusters? Yeah, that's like a single unlock anyway. Shockwave when you're going fast, speed of the drill, gunpowder, even more drill damage. Sure, I'll snag those. We need armor. But there's only so much I can do about it. Alright. Well, we're unlocking all sorts of things. So here's the question How does flying work? Oh. Okay. So I can... I can fly up or down, kind of depending on what I'm looking for. So if I want to, what we can do is we can actually play tactically here, finally. I want to punch through, the, through this aluminum layer. I do have a decent amount of armor, so... It, oh, it just barely even hurts me. Sick. Here's the thing. I should be able to heal. Oh. Oh. This with thrusters is a thing. Yeah, so I recover a little bit of fuel. Just destroying iron. It's not much. But yeah, if I want to, I can actually use this to chew through the aluminum layers. Oh, that's... That's incredibly good. Um, wow. I, I can put holes in planets now. I am the worm. And yeah, we can kind of change our height. So even if, even if I'm not going to get to the core on this round, uh, I'm going to have so much silicon. It's ludicrous. Okay. Let's try and, let's try and get back in here though. I think I can punch in. Save enough HP. Alright, got to the core. You died. Oh, switches kills you. Good to know. So what else do we have? Ore siphon. Percentage of ore when breaking a block. Interesting. More ore siphons, maybe? What else can we get? We can get the regen. Keep working on that fuel. Max that out. The drop boost. Oh, it won't let me see these yet. Oh. I unfortunately, I need rock and gunpowder. Vision, oh, level two planet. So we just need a lot of money. Oh, so in that case, we should go for the vision upgrade next. I think I need 50,000 iron. So let's start with that. Unfortunately, compared to the silicon, there's actually just less iron. I only need like 50k. And then I need $200,000, which that part's harder. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. We'll see once I get down to the silicon layer. That's usually where things get uh, a little bit more generous. And next, iron mastery level though. That's gonna take a lot of effort. 
I'm just going to shave off layers of this planet. Because it does get me a decent chunk of money. And there's nothing wrong with having extra iron. Even if, even if I'm not currently using it for anything. Okay. Just punch through around. Yeah, we'll be able to get we'll be able to get the money, no problem. There we go. Ki kind of. It's just slightly problematic. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you get on a perfect loop, and sometimes it's just like, actually, no, now you're just stuck. It's fun to watch, though. Like, in a very... How to describe it? It's like a very mesmerizing kind of core gameplay loop. Very, um... Power Wash Simulator. But you're power washing layers off of planets. I certainly hope these aren't inhabited planets, but I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, it could be one of those like universal paperclip situations where you find out later on that you're like responsible for the deaths of like trillions and just had no idea because you're just a machine consuming planets for resources that you need to uh, perpetuate yourself. I mean, that, that literally is Universal Paperclips, just uh, ex the extremely, uh, how would it describe, the extremely annotated version? Annotated? The Cliff Notes version. I don't know. I never used Cliff, Cliff Notes in high school. I always felt like kind of, I don't want to say cheating necessarily, but it felt like it was uh, a shortcut, one that wouldn't help me. Uh, sure, I might be able to, like, finish a project faster, but it just felt like it was... You know, why even be in school at that point? And, I mean, admittedly, there are certain aspects of schooling that I'm just kind of like, Yeah, okay, that was kind of stupid. And, like, if I could go back and redo my education system, I'm or my, my path through the education system, I probably would have made other choices. I probably would have spent more time like kind of trying to develop myself and my hobbies uh, rather than just specifically doing homework but I still would have been paying attention probably less time playing World of Warcraft though I mean it had its merits why is it just so much easier to get silicon here I guess it's because the silicon blocks are denser and have more stuff in them I don't actually think I'm going to be able to get to the core on this one. Amusingly enough. Well, maybe I can. God, I've hollowed this place out. If you've ever played... Uh, what is it? Uh, if you've ever played... Outer Wilds, there's a level that's the something hollow. Um, and I think I've recreated that planet manually and I'm starting to forget details about outer wilds sounds like it might be a good time for a second playthrough maybe I mean technically third with the DLC okay I'm just gonna pull off every bit of silicon I possibly can here as it it literally cost me nothing I guess except for time but I'm going to have to do this anyway on subsequent planets, so we might as well just uh, get it all now. We'll have to come back at a later date. Unfortunately, the aluminum is a little bit bouncier. So I can't I can't do my usual just like... Drill through it, leave nothing left. doesn't work. We can kind of bounce along it, and it'll get me a ton. Oh, and I have like a million. 
Yeah, so we, we can kind of just bounce along the surface if I want to. We are losing durability slowly on this, though. I don't know how much that matters, though. Because, like, the moment I get to that core, the drill blows up anyway. Just want to kind of dig in diagonally so I stop getting bounced so much. The problem is the the axle uh, axial tilts the the axis tilts just a little too much here, and so I'm not going to be able to get in that way. That's fine. I don't actually even want to get to the core to be honest. Because I think the core is just, it just destroys you. So it's better for me to go, like, way out of my way. To get as much aluminum as I possibly can. And we might as well come back and, like, grab the silicon over here. There we go. I don't leave too much left. Just leave this planet a empty husk. Someone at a later date is going to come along and just be like, what happened here? Okay, how are we doing on fuel? Oh, we're doing fine. I guess those extra bits of uh, silicon that I was hitting regened me just a little bit. Alright, there we go. Now I'm rich. Let's buy that vision upgrade. We can also get a damage booster. And we can get... Blocks broken milestone. Expensive though. Well, the iron damage booster is nice and cheap. Well, I say nice and cheap. Yeah, sure. What else am I using iron for anyway? Anyway, I want the coin siphon. We never actually finished the aluminum plated drill. I'm going to focus on armor for the time being. Yeah, you know what? I'll buy the milestone. What else was I going to do anyway? Okay, milestones. Oh. Block's broken. So it gets me money, drop boost, coins, damage. Oh, this was worth it. We can also change our skin and a couple other things. Cool. Uh, let's go back to the solar system. Do we have another planet? Oh, we can go to the moon. Rock, coal, and sulfur. Oh, but I have to buy it for a million. Oh, that's slightly unfortunate for me. Let's just go to the silicon layer. I think that's where the money's at. Moon is a freaking million, man. Okay. I'm like, we do actually want to go back and get the iron. There was that drill damage booster that I could invest in. But. Yeah, let's just let's just chew through the silicon layer as fast as we possibly can. Should be reasonably quick considering I've been investing pretty hard. Oh, and there, there's the million we're looking for. Yeah, getting those new resource types should open the game up for me. I know like movement speed was one of them, and that should that should actually make chewing through this planet at least much faster. I don't know about the other ones. Yeah, right now, I'm, I'm not quite fast enough to chew through the iron. Uh, what I want to do is be able to swim through the iron at, like, extremely fast speeds. But I don't think I'm allowed to with my current setup. What is this? Oh. Current blocks that... Current cores. Cores? So I can actually do something with the core. It just... Maybe I didn't have enough durability last time. 
But we do enough damage now that the even the aluminum blocks aren't kicking me out. In fact, uh, I can just swim through aluminum. I guess all we needed was just a bunch more damage. I find if I wiggle my cursor just up and down just a little bit. It lets me dig through it just that much faster. Alright. I actually really like this game. A lot of incremental games kind of lose out on the core gameplay elements. Like, there's just no sense of interaction. I guess I would describe would be how I'd describe it. Like, for the most part, you're just kind of watching big number go up. Here you're actually doing stuff, and there's there's definitely a level of like optimization, like, hey, this is this is, is uh this is a more optimum way of playing. You know, you can go for the quick drop, you can go for the uh you know take things off layer by layer, shave the planet down until nothing is left. Uh, and I think there's kind of that element of like, yeah, this is my my personal style, gameplay style, which, uh, I don't know, I often bring up agency as a thing, and admittedly this one doesn't have that much, uh, but even just this little bit of control has made this game feel dramatically more satisfying. And it's also just really cool seeing how much uh, how much carnage I can commit upon a planet's core. I don't want to I don't want to hit the core yet because I don't even know what happens if I if I touch it. Maybe it just does like stupid amounts of damage to me because it looks like I can Oh. Prestige planet, block health, resources. Yes. We actually got the core there. In the end. All right, so what else can I afford? Okay. Drop rate of blocks, that's pretty good. We're gonna want the damage, I think, more than anything else. So what else do we have? Critical strike. Acid coating. So drill poison. Interesting. Okay, a little bit more durability. A little bit more regen. What else can I afford? I don't know how much I care about the crit chance. Go for the ore siphon, and then coin, coin siphon. But oh, did we max it out? Yes! Okay, so what else do we have? Siphon expander. Siphon yield equipment. Far as 900 million though. Yeah, I'm not... I don't know when I'm getting that one. I mean, I guess I could sell all of that silicon. I have a lot. We'll leave it for later. Let's see, can I buy this planet yet? No, but we can buy the moon. Home's moon, more strange, hmm. Size 10, terrain toughness, fuel per second. I mean, we need rock for things. The moon is nice and small. I'm curious if I'm gonna to want to actually prestige this one if and when I get to the the core. Maybe. I feel like I should have gotten this place a while back, but I didn't even notice it was there. Alright. Let's just. rip through things for a bit. No, we are actually taking some damage here. But I don't think I'm going to prestige this one. Maybe. I don't think I'm even getting to the end. I think I've died. Alright, cool. 
but that gives me access to rock reinforcement. Oh, that's some that's some upgrade right there. Well, let's go for the movement speed. And then we can also get craft gunpowder, which I need if I want to do oh crafting gunpowder and also upgrade with gems. We don't have any gems. So I need more sulfur. Oh, use gems to upgrade bulk crafting. Okay, well, we still don't have enough. Let's go back to solar system. Do the moon again. Unfortunately, I think sulfur was the deeper stuff. I guess I'll have to he head for it. Oh, it's different music now that we're here, too. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that extra armor has made a massive difference here. Even the coal layer. Okay, coal layer doesn't do any damage to me. Sulfur layer hurts. But that's probably fine. Okay, so we're getting some level of sulfur mastery. We should probably go back up to the rock layer just briefly. I don't know how much rock we're going to need, but there's still that rock armor that we want to invest in. Yeah, the problem is this planet, or I mean this moon, this moon is tiny. So it's a little hard to get access to uh, all the resources I want. Because there's just only so many spots to mine. But yeah, I guess that's where prestiging comes in handy. I just know it's going to make it a lot harder for me to swim through, which is kind of my tep uh, trepidation. I think it's trepidation. Effectively, uh, I like being able to go at this speed, and if I'm back to slowly bouncing through things again, that's going to suck a bit. Okay, there we go. One way or another. Uh, let's see. Could go for the rock armor. Go back to crafting. Okay, we still seem to be crafting it. Two grenades by pressing space. Oh, I'm going to pick that up. And we can increase grenade damage. Okay. Let's get the rock armor. It does look like we're going to have to go back to that first planet to get a bunch of aluminum. And, oh boy. We are going to need a lot. Well, at least we can get the speed shockwave now. And we can boost our grenade damage. Yeah, what else do we have? And fossil fuels and electricity tank. Electricity from broken blocks. Fuel boost. Well, we found a bunch of stuff. Right, do we have anything else? No. Hopefully crafting continues. Oh, and I only have so many grenades. Period. Alright. Good to know. Oh, we should take a look at the block-breaking milestones. I might be able to claim those. Yeah, we still haven't found any gems yet. There we go. I still don't know what electricity is used for. Okay. Yeah. This is 
better. Unfortunately, yeah, the sulf sulfur layer is still going to do a ton of damage to me. But still. Okay, let's go to milestones. Uh, milestones? Looks like we already have them. We also have the cores broken. So I guess I have broken two. It looks like we just have to get a bunch more. Okay, so maybe we start heading for cores. Uh, let's see. We could sell some stuff. Let's go back to crafting. It looks like it's just going automatically and I don't have to do anything else. So that's grenade explosion size. Explosion damage. Let's ignore that for the time being. Is rock armor done? No, but we need a lot of rock for that. What else do we have? Circuit boards. Freeze fuel. Let's see. I suppose I'm going to invest in that. Yeah, what's this? Steel. Explosive drill. Yeah, acid coating for sulfur. 600 gunpowder for the laser. Ton of money. Okay, let's, uh... I guess the other one to look into investing in would be electricity tank, because we get glass, static lightning. Lightning around the player. Ooh. That might actually be worth looking at and investing in. I'm just going to need a lot of coal for it. Uh, sure. I'm just going to need a lot of coal and rock. So maybe what we do is we do actually want to get see if I can get to the core of this one, prestige it. I guess we should actually go back to the previous planet and see if I can get to the core a couple of times. Probably without prestiging it. I wonder if prestiging a planet actually ups the damage that the blocks do to you. Grab a unholy amount of coal. We're doing on time. Ooh. Not the greatest. I was hoping to get to the next level of planet, but I think... I don't think we're going to be able to. At least we're swimming through this. Also, those grenade explosions are extremely piddly. Damn. It's fine. Unfortunately, the sulfur layer freaking hurts. How much damage is it per? We almost got through. Okay. I'm gonna need 20 of those. I'm gonna keep working on the rock armor, because the more, more defense I have, the better. Let's see, so we have grenade damage. Are we still getting gunpowder? Very slowly. I don't think we found crystals. craft and it went a lot of it went away confusing drill explosives when you break a block it'll explode I'm very curious to see where that ends up because yeah the grenades at the moment aren't really worth mentioning do we want to oh so we could actually go up to prestige 2 but no I'm just gonna drop like a rock sink straight through Whoa. Well, I busted the core up, and that was it. Huh. Didn't know I could do that. Usually, touching the core ends the run one way or another. Now there is no core left. 
Yeah, I might I might specifically wanna go up to Prestige 2 on this planet just just so it actually has a little bit more for me. Not to say that this is strictly bad, but I'm pretty good at just ripping through it. Also, gosh, not having a core makes navigating this planet like ten times more messy. I almost kind of wish it was one of those where it would break rotation whenever you take the core. Because there's no longer, there shouldn't be gravity here anymore. We've we've taken out at every level of, or you know, the center of mass on the planet, so it shouldn't have any. Gunpowder mastery. Drop rate? What? It's probably just increasing the amount produced per. I did not I did not think we'd have a drop rate or a um, gunpowder mastery. It makes sense. I just didn't think of it. Whoop. Okay. There. Now we no longer have to mess around with that. punch our way through this. We don't strictly have to. Uh, I should probably just leave Prestige the Planet and try again. He said, next reward is coins. But I don't know how much. Silicon we're sitting on. Absolutely ludicrous amounts. So we have been increasing our, our income somehow. It's probably those, those milestone upgrades. Increased everything by a percentage. Okay. Here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, do I want to go for oodles of iron? No, I don't think so. Let's go back out to the shop. At least that's nice and quick. Let's take a look. What is this? Static lightning. Yes. Or static electricity. We could also get the circuit boards. Yes. Or purify. Drop boost. A lot. A lot. A lot. Probably worth it. Uh, let's see what else do we want to do. Get that a couple of times. The aluminum armor. It's not that good anymore. But probably still worth kind of investing in. Eee, we've got fuel tank plus. Okay, is there anything else? I guess I'll go for the crit boost. Okay, so if we go back to milestones. Yeah, hull. Ooh, hull. Okay, let's go to the solar system. Let's go back to this. Prestige 2. Ore, gems, and block health. Times eight. Oof. Okay. So we got a lot. But we didn't get a, a whole lot of cores. So in that case, what I'm going to do is we're just going to take some cores really fast. Because there's a prestige for going for, like, a lot of cores. I need the resources along the way. But that's fine. So if we go back to this... Oh. Cores broke... Oh. It has to be unique cores. So one, once we've gotten a milestone, that's it. Alright. I guess we're going back to the moon. I don't know how much coal or sulfur or rock we need. Let's see. Can I actually hit the sulfur without taking too much damage? Yeah. Not enough, though. Okay. What else can we get in the skill tree? Well, we can keep going for rock armor. That's worth it. 
Oh, that's a big fuel tank boost. What else do we have? Yeah, grenade damage. That's expensive. We got that. We just need... Oh, actually... Steel just requires iron. Yeah, let's go back to Prestige 2 on this one. Because I want to get to the core eventually anyway. But if I need, like, 100,000 iron, then I guess this Prestige planet... will be forthcoming. maybe also consider selling a bunch of my resources at some point. I'm not sure how much I need money, though. I gotta remember. Wiggle the cursor. Slide through the planet that much faster. Okay. Let's go to the silicon layer. Though I think we are... Yeah, we're good on silicon. So much more iron for that mastery level. Oh. Boy, if we ever get the ability to increase our AoE, that might actually be the explosive drill. It kind of it kind of looks like it. If I can get that explosive drill, I'm going to be able to do really fun things here. Alright, let's just punch into that aluminum. Alright, can I get... Yes, explosion size. Only have so much gunpowder, though. Uh, let's see. What did steel need? The gunpowder that I have... Oh. I stopped making for some reason. Maybe we just ran out. Yeah, might as well wait until we have enough for steel. We're almost there. Okay, so we now have steel's an option. There are also missiles every second. That sounds funny. Is steel really that expensive? Uh, oh boy, it might be. It is that expensive, so we are going to need a silly amount of iron and coal. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's just go back here. I think those, that explosion radius really is actually just increasing the effectiveness of my drill. Thick. I mean, not the effectiveness, but effectively I have an AoE now. So I'm going to be able to just rip through parts of this really quickly. point do I go for the core? Probably about now. There's not too much left. I still want to grab the, like, densest bits of coal if I can. Alright. Snag a couple of these, and let's just get in here. I don't, I don't think we're getting to the core. Close. So close. Uh, could increase regen if I wanted to. We could also get the acid coating. And what else is there? Glass, but that requires sand. That. Now, let's go for crafting. I want to grab that damage. So I'm going to need a lot of aluminum and a lot of rock. What else can we do? Increase fuel size by a bunch? Sure. And fine. I'll get the acid coating. See what that gets me. Anything else? No. So I think we're going to do one more trip. I really want this core. 
what I'm going to do is try and punch in right here. Then we're going to go back and heal. Because I can heal off of the outer layers. Not that well. But it is, it is healing. It looks like the acid is kind of an AoE thing. Like you touch it a little bit and it gets kind of a, a poison effect. Might soften it up. Okay. And if we go back to the coal layer, we should be able to get our HP back pretty quick. Did I collect the core? No. He killed me. Okay, so the region would be good. That armor, though. What else do we invest in? Not much of anything. Yeah, so unfortunately it looks like that core might just be a little too punchy for me at the moment. And there's only so much I can do. Yeah. I just blow up even touching it. It's a bit of a bit of a downer, but on the flip side, at least we can somewhat reliably clear this this moon and get through it and pretty soon we'll be able to even start messing with the sulfur layer comfortably. I'm just going to need like an unholy amount of rock always and it's fine. Anyway, so to the core is available on Steam now and it's like for six bucks is really cheap um, and it seems really cool uh, definitely one of the more interactive and interesting incremental games I've ever played obviously for the most part it's a just a linear upgrade path disguised, disguised as a web to talent tree but on the flip side it's kind of one of those where having all of these different things to work towards there's kind of that element of just like okay which is worth my time and which one do I want to focus on right now um, and that actually feels really good and I legitimately want to play more of this at some point, maybe. Uh, it just feels like there's a lot of layers to the game, and peeling them back is an immensely satisfying. But for now at least, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because i got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I, I can't stop. It's a problem. Uh, let's die to the core. It's the only way. Take me away. Or I'll take the core for myself. Nope. I almost got it, though. <laughs>